Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost and optimize your internet on Windows 11. Uh, I sound maybe a little bit different. It's because I'm using another computer in another room in my house. Uh, so the microphone and the setup is different. But still, we're going to start with this. So first of all, uh, we're going to start with programs. So Control L, delete, go to Task Manager, go to your startup. And after that, make sure that all the, 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 the those applications that you don't use are disabled. So we, this is pretty much when you start your Windows, everything you will see there with the status enabled will be enabled and will use resources, internet resources, or even your resources from your computer. So if you don't use it, just disable all the stuff that you don't need. When you did that, I really recommend just to restart your computer. So you're going to make sure those one will not be now uh, using your computer. And also, it's always good to restart your computer a couple of times, like one time a day or one time a week if you don't like to do that. But it's still, it's always good to restart. After that, we're going to go to the search bar. We're going to write settings. Go to app. And go to app and features. So this is pretty much where you have all your application in your computer. So I'm going to show you an example. For an example, Cortana. You don't want to use it. Click here, the three dots. Go to advanced option. And you will have an option called background app permission. Let this app run in the background. So you don't want that. Put this one at never. And just go back. So just look at all your application here that you don't want to use. Uh, if for sure, if you want to, you see video games. Normally, it will not take uh, background resources. But if you see like uh, Windows program, Microsoft program, or other program that you use, uh, look at this and just disable them. It will optimize first of all your internet and also your computer if you don't use them and it's, they are not important for you. After that, I recommend to go on your browser. Write speed tests and use the speedtest.net. I'm going to put the link on my video description. Press go. So you just want to see, uh, first of all, your ping, uh, your download maximum and your upload. Right now, it's not going to be very fast because I'm very far from my router and I'm using an old like dongle USB Wi-Fi. But still, you want to see do you improve or not your internet with all the stuff I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the DNS and stuff like that. So this is pretty much you want to see uh, a base comparison with your download, your upload and your ping. So the upload will be done soon. Good. So now I have my final result, my ping, my download and my upload. So after that, we're going to close this. We're going to go to search again, write settings. And in the settings, you guys want to go to Windows Update and Advanced Option here. And we want to go to Delivery Optimization. So first of all, by default, the first one here, allow downloads from other PC. So your PC, your PC may send parts of previously download Windows Update an app to device on your local network or on the internet. So pretty much Microsoft is using your computer as a server. So you don't want to use that. And if you don't have a big upload on your computer and it's not very fast, very important to put this one up. It will also help if you are a streamer and stuff like that. After that, go to advanced option. And this is pretty much where you can limit uh, the bandwidth on Windows 11. So for the download and the upload, I'm not going to do the upload because I really recommend to just put the other option to off. So you don't want to upload anything with your Windows update. Uh, for the download, uh, I recommend to use percentage. If you want to put like very like specific number, you can definitely go with absolute bandwidth. But for people like normal people like us, you just go with percentage. So um, for downloading updates in the background, just put something like 20%. So it will use 20% of your speed to update um, your... Um, whatever your all the updates from windows but in the background so you're doing something you will not necessarily see any difference in your internet speed you will just lose 20 percent so this is a percentage i recommend if you don't like that you can go lower or higher uh for the foreground 90 is okay so don't touch it and for the upload don't touch it because uh like i said we just remove it you can also if you want 
uh, to upload. You can limit the amount of upload uh, that you can do in a month. So pretty cool option that they give you here. After that, we want to go to network and internet here. So we're going to do it for the Wi-Fi and also the Ethernet. So first of all, the Wi-Fi, uh, click on your Wi-Fi. After that, click on your Wi-Fi property, sorry. And here, make sure that meter connection is at off. So some app might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network. So really important to put this one at off. It will help you a little bit with your internet. You can pretty much do the same thing if you're using an internet cable. So go to internet here and you have the meter connection option that you can just put at off here. So the last one will be the DNS. DNS, you can definitely go on the web and look at where you live and which one is better for you. For me, in my uh, sector, I'm, we can say I'm NAEs. Honestly, uh, the public Google one and the Cloudflare one are the best one for me. Uh, they are better than my uh, internet providers. So I really recommend you go with Cloudflare. This is pretty much the best for me. Uh, I'm going to show you how to change it. You can do it for your internet cable or your um, if you're using Wi-Fi. Click on the Wi-Fi. After that, again, go to Properties. You will go to DNS Server Assignment. By default, it will be automatic. So you want to edit. Put this one at Manual. Click on the IPv4 here. And prefer DNS, you want to write 1.1.1.1. And also you want to add a backup if something happened to your primary DNS. So the backup for Cloudflare is 1.0.0.1. Uh, you can do some research on the internet if you want to use the one from Google. I think it's 8.8.8.8. .8 Not too sure about the alternate one, but uh, definitely take a look on the internet to which one should be good for you. You can also do some testing. Just put your DNS and look at your internet. Uh, you will mostly see when you uh, uh, browse the web, like the way page will load. Uh, but uh, yeah, definitely just do some texting. And after that, just apply save and you're good to go with your DNS. So this is pretty much it. After that, it's more about your connection. So you definitely need to look with your internet provider. If you have like 20 uh, Mbits from upload and you're trying to, you know, always use 30, 40 and everything is lagging or you have some, some more, uh, someone else in your house that are downloading, it can for sure affect your internet. For the Wi-Fi also, I have another guide about it, like dedicated guide how to make sure that your Wi-Fi is good in your home. So a lot of variable here to make sure that your internet perform well on Windows 11. So this is pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, just comment in YouTube section. Post me your rig. So CPU, GPU, your computer, what kind of internet that you have, and also are you using Wi-Fi, what type of Wi-Fi, or you're just plug with an Ethernet cable, I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.